Welcome to the support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, you will learn about the BMC Control M usage reporting tool, or what to do when you get an email like this from the BMC License Compliance Office requesting usage reports for Control M. The first thing we'll want to do is download the BMC Control M usage reporting tool from our EPD site. To reach the site, go to www.bmc.com, click Support, Product Downloads, and then when you get into the EPD site, you can filter for the Usage Reporting tool by typing Usage into this filter field and pressing Enter. This tool does require Java version 1.7 so make sure that you have that. Once we've downloaded and extracted it, we can run the run.bat file. This gives us this welcome screen. We click Next, and we can start adding our environment information. The environment field is just a label. It doesn't have to match anything. Database type is for the EM database. Keep in mind that Oracle Rack is a special case. If you want to use the usage reporting tool on an Oracle Rack database, there are some additional configurations that need to be made, described in our article with ID KA391605. The host is the host name where you can find the EM database. The port is the port you use to connect to that database. The user is the database user that owns the EM database. And then the password for that user. And then the name of the database. Now, I only have one environment for this demonstration, but remember that if you have multiple environments, such as uh, development, QA, and production, you're going to need to click the Add button and repeat this process for every environment that you're using. They're all required for the license compliance reports. Once you've put all that in, you can click Next. And if you get an error like this, error null, that probably means that one of these connection information pieces is wrong. Anything except the environment column, which is just a label. Looking at this, I see the database needed to be in lowercase to match my database. And now it's successful. When that's the case, you can click Next to actually generate the report. And then you can see the data on the left side. And you can click Save Report to produce it. So I'll create a folder to save it and click finish because you can just close the tool at that point. Go to where you saved it and you'll find a reports.zip file which contains all the reports you need to send either by clicking the link in step two of the email or by replying to the email. Thank you for your time. The workload automation support team looks forward to helping should you need our assistance.